you're going to need a 17 millimeter wrench to break the Suzuki drain plug free. And a Suzuki oil filter wrench, I believe a Kawasaki oil filter wrench will work also. Wipe all the crud where the gasket's going to rest on the new oil filter. Wipe that off the... Uh, engine casing. Put a light coat of oil on the gasket of the new oil filter. You don't need to use a lot, just enough so that gasket won't stick to the engine casing when you pull the uh, filter off in 3,000 miles. Don't tighten that down as tight as you can get it, but just snug it up a little bit. If you're using a Suzuki crush washer on your drain plug, I suggest you change it every time that you change your oil. I personally use the aluminum Honda crush washers on all my bikes. Um, and I usually get about 10, maybe 12 oil changes out of a Honda crush washer before I need to replace it. The SV1000 is going to take 2.8 quarts of oil. Um, I'm using Mobile One 10W40 off the shelf. It's the same as the car oil. Uh, I use this in all my bikes. I've got hundreds of thousands of miles and I've never had a problem with it. You use whatever you want, but you're going to need 2.8 quarts to fill it up. I usually run it to get the oil into the filter. Um, I didn't uh, measure out 2.8 quarts when I did it this time. Uh, I just poured it in until it was full. Then I run it. Once the filter's filled up, I turn the engine off. I let the oil settle. And then I put the remainder in to top off the engine.
This bike didn't need an oil change. Um, I just sold the bike uh, to Roland. He's a friend of mine, lives down in Florida. He was interested in it. Uh, anytime I sell a bike, I try to do all the servicing and get it up to par for the new owner. So I go ahead and I change the oil, I flush out the brake fluids, I clean the chain, uh, check the tire pressures. Uh, just make sure that the, the bike's 100% serviceable for the new owner. So that's the SV1000S oil change. Um, it's pretty much the same for an SV650. Uh, Roland, I hope you enjoy the bike. Good luck.